Hello, all you happy people. This is the Rock Shifter, and can you guess what we're playing? That's right, we're playing Until Dawn. Now, I've heard a lot about this game. It's uh, Survivor Horror esque, and it is uh, very decision heavy, much like uh, my Let's Plays of Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls. So I figure, eh, you know, why not? Um, it's <laughs> it's supposed to be like hokey survival horror like 90s uh horror movie scary so i'm not looking too deep into the fear factor of it but uh the story's supposed to be good the game's supposed to be good so let's get started the butterfly effect a tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now I really don't think that's actually what happens. I think hurricanes are a little more complicated than that. But I'll take your word for it, game. Uh, the smallest decision can tragically change the future. Yeah, it's supposed to... This game's supposed to, like, be sucking the balls of the butterfly effect. Like, it literally... Uh, how do I... No, I wanted to go left. I Oh god, I can already tell... This game's gonna be, uh, pissing me off. There you go. That's the path I chose. Your story is one of many possibilities. And probably like Heavy Rain and, uh, Beyond Two Souls, those choices are very limited. But that's okay. dark spooky cabin in the woods Ooh. I don't actually know much about this game uh, the only thing I know is watch out for the elk uh, don't hit a bird and um, it's very hokey much like a, or a, a 90s horror movie which I'm okay with cause here's Jason <laughs> on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, M. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. Hey, M. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Ooh, darling. Alright, what, uh... Is there already gonna be a murder, like, five minutes in? Uh-oh. I can tell where this is going. <laughs> She's here. Shh, shh. Mike. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Huh. Well, we know where that's gonna lead. Oh, there's the killer. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. What? Oh, okay, I'm in control now. Awesome. Uh, can I... Can I... How do I interact? Do I go up to things? Do I press buttons? Oh, it's on the other side. Of course! Alright, so... Who are you? Okay, use the right stick. Press X. Okay, that's gonna get annoying. Tutorials. Move it around with the right stick. Oh, there you go. I was wondering why. Alright, I I see it is alcohol. Can I put it down? Jeez, Josh. <laughs> Once again, brother, you've outdone us oh. all. Alcoholic teens. Woo! Just what I need to see. Alright, so... What is this? Alright. Oh, oh, am I gonna have another... Alright, tutorial to pick it up. How do I... There we go. You look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter. Oh, okay. I see where this is going. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? 
naive. Si oh, I was wondering. They looked really similar. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Whoa, Mike. I thought this was a joke. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt? What are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of hand, but... Whoa. All right. Uh, All right, so what's what's actually going on here? All right, right stick. Choose a choose a what? Choose a Oh, okay. Um let's Oh, okay. So I actually have to There's someone outside. What the hell? Hannah! What's going on? Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! Uh-oh. This is so, where somebody dies. Go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press the correct buttons. Oh, great! Oh, shit! Just what I need to see. Okay. That's not too bad. Time button controls. Just what I need. Uh, safe. Let's go first! We gotta save her sister. How did she get down here? Alright, so I'm not in control right now. I just gotta press buttons. Um, follow noise, follow footprints. I gonna follow the footprints? Because I assume there's only one per... Oh, they said not to go near the deer. Don't, don't touch the deer. Don't, oh. Jesus, fuck, shit. Great, now I'm gonna die. Damn it, Hannah. Where are you? I should have followed the noise. Well, I didn't know they were animal footprints. Touchpad. Oh, okay. Oh, so they actually use the touchpad in this game. That's interesting. Hannah. State stasis update. Um. All right. Oh, I can I can move the light too. That's awesome. What? All right. Um, I also know that there's supposed to be collectibles or something. So I'm gonna just keep my eye out. I'm pretty sure everything will be shiny. So that's why I got my phone to look for anything shiny. I'm guessing this is the tutorial stage, so I don't want to. Uh... Jesus Christ, deer! All right, I was told to to watch out for the deer, to walk faster. Why not run? Right, is there anything? Hello, hello. Ooh, ah, collectible right in the middle of the road. Oh, right. I, I have to pick it up because she doesn't know how. Whoa. Death totem. Press R1. Um, so it looks like there's five different types of totems. Death, guidance, loss, danger, fortune. All right. Um, and it seems to be, uh, telling me the future. So I gotta, I gotta look out for some stuff now. This is interesting. Let's, uh, let's keep going. I doubt they'll have another collectible so close to it, but I'll still keep my, oh my god, this camera. Alright. No more deer, right? This looks like a spot where a deer would jump past me. That is not a deer! That was not a deer. All right, all right. Anna. Anna. Hello. Anna. Oh my God, 
You must be freezing. Here, take my Aww. coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. You're not dumb. Mike's an asshole. Anna, back. All right, so they're twins, definitely. Last I checked in horror movie status, twins die second. So they should be okay for a little bit. Or is it that one twin dies and the other lives? Oh, the phone! No! How will I call for help? Alright. No! No! Why? Alright, why would you. I would much rather face what's coming towards me than get closer to the edge. Um. Okay. So this is what we saw in our vision. Hold on! Hold on! Jesus! All right. That was uh. Oh, he's. It looks like he's trying to help. How do I? Wait. I need to. Wait. Hold on. Should I save myself? I. Uh. Oh God. I don't. I don't. I'm not allowed to make these decisions. Okay. Oh. Oh, I guess I should have let Hannah fall. Okay, Dr. A.J. Hill. So this is interesting. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there okay. is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the so fate of those <laughs> around you. So are you talking to me? Like, so, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Okay. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying. But I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? Um, All right. Okay. We will start with a simple exercise. All right, so I'm guessing Could that you this. Please pick up the card, and I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. Uh, do I actually? It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. So, am I one of the characters, or is this just affecting the game? Okay, how do I? All right, the... oh, the hand is gloved, of course. Okay, it's a scarecrow. Eh. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I mean, uh, not uneasy. I guess happy. It's not like... Oh, that's good. In what way did it make you happy? Yeah, I like corn. Sunshine and it's peaceful. Um, I guess peaceful more than anything. Oh. Corn is peaceful, very peaceful. Interesting. It's interesting. Of course, it's interesting. Have you never eaten corn? Happy to spend the whole week here, all by yourself. In your office with you? Um, no, but in the cornfield, yes. Huh. I have uh, as much and corn as I want. I told you that this cottage was haunted. Um, well, ghosts aren't real, sir, so <laughs> I am going to have to say no to that. Uh, a level-headed response. Yeah, I am level-headed. Everyone is frightened of something. Uh, I wonder what it is that does frighten you. I really spiders. Do. Lots of spiders. Wait. Sorry, we're out of time. Let's investigate that. 
Shall we? Okay, so actually, you, I take that back. You, you creep me out the most. You are my fear, Mr. Hill, Dr. Hill. <laughs> Professor Dr. No Hair. of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington still girls missing. left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. So we know that they're dead. No. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that hey, mountain seems it, to that's sexist, events. by the way. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Yeah, mysterious disappearance. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Oh, this is um, their, first their off, brother. First I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> you seem so, so excited. Um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. He's got creepy eyes. I know you're all probably worried about me and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year but why would you want to go back I just want you all to know um, it means it means so much to me that we're doing this and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're we're all still here together you know thinking of them yeah, thinking really about them and getting shit faced. Quality time with e each and every one of you, and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget. For for the sake of my sisters, and you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay, make this one trip we will never forget. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yes. I don't like them. He's creepy. He's got the eyes. Like, you can just tell creepy people by their eyes. She's fine.
Part 1, Friendship. Ten hours until dawn, so the countdown's already started. That's good to know that we're already trying to, you know, escape. Even though we haven't gotten in. What the fuck with this guy? Does he just, like, walk behind people and stand there menacingly? Is that his job? Sam, Hannah's best friend. Considerate, adventurous, diligent. Alright, I like Sam. Sam looks, uh, normal compared to Josh. Josh had the eyes. Hello? Like, you, you could tell a person's crazy Someone by there? their eyes. Learn that from, uh, How I Met Your Mother. Path to the cable car station. Alright. So, I take it that there's just gonna be a lot of jump scares like that bird. Oh god, it was this game. No, I'm just kidding. Like, I, I love horror games, but, like, this seems very... Eh? Like, I know it's supposed to be, like, <laughs> cheap horror, so, uh, let, let's just see how, uh, how scary it can get. What's that say? Oh, what? The gates busted, climb over. On a... Ooh, whoa, uh, whoa, uh. <laughs> Alright, how do I... Okay. So, apparently you gotta climb over. Are you sure you can't just open it? Oh, ooh. oh, look how seductively she touches, touches those bars. Oh, Jesus, never mind. Alright, I guess we're climbing over. I, I guess I can't climb over the spiky things and kill her off right now, right? Nah, I'm gonna try and actually uh, keep them... Ooh, nope, we're going quick. Let's do this. I want quick action commands. Let's go. Ugh. You know, what if these guys were fat? I mean, I know the fat guys die. Uh, jump, go for the jump. Ooh, okay, there you go. Like, what, yeah, I know I wouldn't be able to make this. I, I am fairly overweight. What if, what if I was friends with Josh? What if I wanted to go to the party? Would I have to turn around after a long bus ride? That's kind of a jerk move, Josh. That's kind of a jerk move. Get your gate fixed. Alright, who's watching me? And who's Chris? I don't remember seeing him in, uh... In the group. Aww. Aww, is this, oh, we have the same sentiment, Sam. You hungry? Huh? Oh, don't move. Ah, oh, what? Damn it. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay. That's it. Come on. Alright, so I'm putting my controller down. Not touching. Not moving. Not breathing. Oh, I can't hold my breath that long. Alright, so yeah, I I have my controller on my stomach, so I don't know how I was not, uh... Alright, so what's R1 do? If I'm unsure of what to do... Head to the cable car station. Thanks. The twins... Oh, so we have a whole bunch of stuff we have to find. Holy crap. Holy crap. What's that say? Mystery Man, 1952. All right. So apparently just a lot of stuff I don't know about yet. So let's not try and spoil that too much. <sighs> okay. So yeah, the one, the one thing I always like about these games is the story is actually pretty good. So I'm kind of hoping that... Uh, what's that say? <laughs> cool. Uh, people in Butterfly Prophecies. Death Black Butterfly... Dreamer's death, danger. So black is death, red is danger. Oh, duh! It's just like on the the totems. Speaking of which, hello, hello, totem. Oh, I have to be careful. I gotta look for all these totems. How do I? Okay, I, I get that. Pick up the totem. Can I? I right, just pick up the totem. God darn it! And spin it around. Ooh, it's a fortune totem. Oh, that's the bird somebody was... Alright, so like I said, I only knew, like, two things about this. Don't mess with the deer, and, uh, don't mess with the bird. So, that's, uh, that's my knowledge of this game right now. Um... Ooh, is that a bag? Chris? Not in the bag, are you? Ooh. 
Is he that small? What do we have here? Is that a cell phone? Eh, she doesn't seem like the Snoopy type. Maybe I shouldn't open up Chris's stuff. White butterflies. A butterfly effect appears when Chris, action changes Sam, the nature. Hey, you made it. Chris has a crush on Ashley's. Oh god. This is a 90s horror movie. Methodical, protective, humorous. Alright. Oh, so I found something kinda amazing. What? I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind. Ooh, I like it. He he says blow your mind funny. Um, so we're gonna end this episode off. Next time on um until dawn, we're gonna follow Chris. Whoa! Hi. I uh I like the the zoom. Do I Oh, I can move my head around. Woo! Oh. Oh, look at my face. Look at my eyes. All right. <laughs> See you guys later. Oh, oh, ma! What the fuck just happened? What where did the pole go? Flies away drops a handful of yarn. A rather important Yoshi meeting is held. So, Yoshi's actually talk? That's cool. What do we do to save the others?